Actually, I've become a bit notorious and everyone expects that I'm going to waylay them and catch them when they are totally unprepared for an interview on a subject which they are not prepared for. This is Gerard Delaney, who used to be a principal at Shantadurga Bicholi High Secondary. Yeah. And uh, Gerard is from my village. He wants to tell us about another villager whom he discovered and recently found, uh, who many of us had forgotten about. Tell us about Ollan Campos. Yeah. So, I had taken a break from bridge for a long time, about 23 years. But four years ago when I began playing bridge, I was uh, told about one great uh, Indian player who is uh, famous on the international scene, not just on the national scene. And his name is Orlando Com Campos. And also I was told about his sister, Gilda Campos. And I happened to know her to some extent. Then I came to know also further that she is my neighbor, at least uh, her roots were from our neighborhood. So then I got to know her better and all that. And then I was told, I, I was told that this guy is really a fantastic bridge player. He so he turned, out, he turned out to be a very big uh, bridge player at the Pan India level and beyond. Oh yes. So actually in, I checked him on Google. I found his name on Wikipedia. A small account, not very big, not very enlightening. But um, they, were, they were praised him, you know, because they gave from the news reports. But I found out something more from his contemporaries and also from the students whom he has trained. And it seems this guy was absolutely brilliant. Which year he was active? Uh, he was active in the 60s and 70s and even early 80s. In Bombay? He was in Mumbai, based in Mumbai. He died about uh, 27 years ago. So when I read about him and I found that a, a guy from our village, Saligaon, who has done so well in the, in the game of bridge, a game which is a lovely game, it's a mental game like chess. Unfortunately, uh, you know, our youngsters don't try, they don't like this game, they don't want to take to it. They will play chess which, which is more taxing, but a bridge game which is much more faster, much more exciting and lively and all, they won't take it up. So my intention was, you know, to encourage this game and bring more people into the fold. Because, you know, we had so many bridge players in, this, in our Saligaon Institute, particularly playing bridge playing this game there'd be two three tables i remember they used to play it on a day-to-day -day basis and in fact uh, this place where we are now talking used to be our second home when we were kids in high school that's right and the elders used to be playing bridge that's right absolutely there were so many bridge players you know unfortunately they, some of them have died and gone a few have left this village and they're just about two three of us who are active very active playing bridge that's right now Cyril Cyril uh, Coelho Cyril Coelho is there and uh, you know, there's, now there's Leslie Remedios and Ivan Disa was very active but unfortunately he passed away a few months ago. Now that's it. And there are many others. I know that there's Glaston Ribeiro and there are many other bridge players but they are inactive. So we are trying to, are trying to rope them in and make them play. How do you describe bridge? It's a strategy game with a lot of excitement. Oh yes, it's absolutely. You know, first and foremost you have to know a lot of theory about it which for which we are always ready to teach you. Just as chess also requires some theory. Now, once the game starts, there has to be something called the bidding, an auction. In the auction, you are going to decide how many tricks you can make with your 13 cards. Now, that's you meaning you and your partner. So, there's a pair, a team of two people against another pair. So, that auction is over. I'm going to make so many tricks for which points are, you know, laid out. And the opponents will try to defeat you. And if you manage to attain your bid, if you keep to your word and you manage to deliver on your bid, you get a bonus. Yes. And so the higher the bid, the higher the bonus. But the, there's some guidelines. If you get it wrong, you get penalties. Oh yes, everything is there. So there are guidelines, how many points you'll get and there are incentives. For example, when you play a game of Scrabble, if you make a seven letter word, you get a bonus of 50 points. So like that, in while playing bridge, if you score a game, you get points, much many more points. But that also depends whether you are vulnerable or not vulnerable. And also, vulnerable, if you, if that's you, a technical term. Yes, technical term. So if you don't make the contract and you fall tricks, if your opponents defeat you and uh, you are not able to fulfill your contract, then you lose more points. You know, you lose a lot. So you have to be very careful. Now that is one thing. That's an auction. But in the play of the game, a lot of planning is required. You have to think and reason out and try to see now, as the cards are being played, what your opponents have, what cards are they left with them, how many trumps are there with them, for example. So it's a game where your mind is very, it's on high, you know. It teaches us the lesson that we cannot change what cards are dealt to us by life, but yes. we can determine how we play those cards. Absolutely. So the cards, you know, it's no question of gambling. Because the, uh, the, it's a strategy the, 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 the strategy is based on pure scientific principles, you know. So, if the card, a certain card could be this side or that side. 
50 percent option but you can make it larger uh, the, the percentage can be made bigger just by your thought reasoning processes by the cards shown and you know you have to infer there's a lot of inference going on inference going on as you're playing so it's a very nice game bridge is almost like cricket no gerard it strikes me like cricket because cricket is such a game that even if you're losing even you're wondering will will you know am i going to uh, going to uh, lose so badly or, yeah. or can i make up and can i somehow aim for a draw instead of a loss yes and it's a very fascinating game also every at every moment you are caught in the game absolutely Same so even bridge. in the game of bridge also till the last card is played it's absolutely the game is not over yeah, because you can make a mistake it's very easy to make a mistake even in the last card and then you are penalized for that naturally because you can't fulfill the contract now that every trick is important so when you play in a tournament now you are being uh, compared with everybody else who plays the same cards so there's a board in which the full pack of cards is dealt and the same board goes from table to table that's so called something that's duplicate bridge duplicate bridge, duplicate bridge no? so everyone plays the same game same game so same now, cards yeah so this coming sunday when we have a tournament there will be say 48 boards those boards will go from table to table table to table you know and all are going to be playing so we are going to compare now and i play how many tricks i made will be compared with how many tricks other people have made so if the dice scores are compared so there's no question of gambling it's there's no, no question, question of luck it's all no a question, question of, of strategy absolutely strategy and play. life is giving you the same cards and yes. and it's going to see how what you made out of it yeah. and then as you are strategizing and you are taking a certain direction suddenly you find that this won't work you have to change tracks plan a fails you have to go to plan b otherwise you are out mr campos how did he enter the field any idea now i was told that uh, campos suddenly when he went to mumbai he had i, I no boy i think he was a uh, he was an accountant i think but he discovered he had the skills he had all the skills and knack for playing bridge he had a phenomenal memory he could reason out very well and as he learned the game very fast and he began uh, playing the game he was winning tournament after tournament and then naturally uh, people's eyes were on him and he got in the national scene and then there was no stopping him there are he, some international references to him also no? oh yes yes there are international there are books also written on him where he's mentioned because he had a superb way of imparting you know while teaching or even while thinking on the table and he was not one to keep things to himself he has trained so many people yeah. so now as i am meeting people whom he has trained all are in awe and praise of him they are saying that he was my guru because of him i am what i am today i am such a good player i am the tournament director of maharashtra this because is at of the bombay him. level bombay is the center of bridge in oh, india yes, probably yes bombay no? and delhi are the centers okay and you know we are going to be having a, a tournament on sunday the very here, first tournament here, in here. saligao institute in his memory and i was told that his Uh, students are based all over india especially in hyderabad in uh, belgaum uh, mumbai maharashtra all over they all wanted to come it's only because of this covid that's stopping them and of course now it's expensive how many people also. are you expecting to hardly about 8 or 10 people are coming okay. from outside goa and total? otherwise there would have been total total will be about 32 30 36 wow. players so many yeah you know many could not come because of the season many are going out of uh, goa out yeah. of saliga out of goa yeah. so otherwise they at least about four to six more would have been over yeah, here yes. and we would have about 40 players at least so you know 40 is a small number believe me that too because there are about 10 of them up outside otherwise i tell you this bridge other places tournaments the hall is full i see there are so many tables and in fact now this game is picking on picking up all over india and people are paying 10000 15000 rupees just for tuition classes i see now online classes are going on and here in in, in goa we are trying we are trying to bring it them free see. and no one is coming forward you know it's such a pity there is a certain some sort of bias against bridge and very very unfortunate and we have to change that so i am counting on rico to change the mindset of people to make them think that bridge is a wonderful game very enlight- enlightening game very uh, your, light entertaining your own game. words will do that and it's very <laughs> convincing but before we end up one last thing tell us about the video you shared with me and a whole lot of other people yes now in that video you know it was a news clipping in the states in that states they uh, they interviewed people from the seniors bridge club there were people were all above 80 in in fact above 90 some were even above 100 one of them who spoke also was the retired chief justice of the usa and they all said all of them were unanimous you know we are young at heart young in the brain only because it is bridge which keeps us going and bridge is a sort of a panacea for our long life 
for keeping our brain active and alive. All our neurons are functioning so well only because of the game of bridge. It's, it's very interesting how they talk and how they joke and how they say they, they, they play bridge to meet up and to, to keep their brain active and to meet meet uh, date people in their 90s, whatever it is. Absolutely. Yes. So, it, so the attitude yeah. is full of fun. Yeah, Absolutely. Full of fun. In fact, bridge is a social game. You, you know, even now, though we are only 30 of us in Goa, less than 30 playing, we wait for the time and all of us meet because it's a social event. And as Rico just now mentioned, there in that big uh, senior club, how many of them in the 80s, they said, you know, I dated so-and-so, I got married to so-and-so, and you know, I was going to marry one guy, but he conked out before yeah, my yeah. time. So it was very unfortunate. Companionship at any age. At any, at any age. So it's companionship, it's a, it's a social uh, event, you know, very nice program. How do people contact you or anyone else? Some phone number, some Yeah, WhatsApp. I can give you my number. My number is uh, 9370430919. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, and you have some bridge groups, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, we WhatsApp. have a few, all are scattered. We meet sometimes. And some I WhatsApp go, groups also. They yes, WhatsApp groups also are there. Once uh, they come, they contact me, I will put them in contact. I will make sure that they get to play bridge some way or the other. Thank you so much. Lovely assurance <laughs> and lovely uh, knowledge sharing from you. Thanks. Good, good. Okay, thanks. <laughs>